the fast pitch chat show. Listen up if you want to know. Tips from expert guests and pros. A whole lot of info on everything softball. The fast pitch chat show. Sponsored by softballjump.com. Hi, I'm Bill Hillhouse of thehouseofpitching.com. And I'm here today to answer some of the questions that I get on a more frequent basis from readers of my newsletter and people who email me. Now, one of the more common questions that I've been asked in recent time has been the change in what you see in pitching motions of pitchers on TV at the collegiate level. And one of the biggest changes that pitchers do today is they have a turn of their body where they actually twist on the rubber prior to going forward. Why did they do that? What is the purpose of doing that? Well, as the game has advanced and more and more people are be doing what we call picking the pitcher, the pitcher is doing everything in their power to hide the pitch as much as possible. And so the third base coach, after he or she flashes the signals to the batter of what they want the batter to do, the next thing the coach is doing at the top level is staring at the pitcher trying to observe inside the glove, seeing what the pitcher is gripping, what pitch is coming, what they can see that they can relay to the batter to tell, give the batter some advance notice as to what pitch is coming. So what you see a lot is girls on TV twisting and turning, hiding the ball from the third base coach as much as possible. Now, some pitchers go way too far with this and they twist so far that they actually lose their balance. And sometimes they twist so far that while they're hiding the ball from the third base coach, they're going so far behind themselves that the first base coach could theoretically just step behind and see what they're doing with the ball. We don't need to twist the body and make unnecessary moves. All we need to do is conceal the ball from the coaches. And the way I do it personally is I take the heel of my hand and I put it right on my hip and as I get my grip, this is where I get my grip right here. I don't twist, I don't need to do any extra movements. I'm sideways with the ball, so the lip of my glove is facing center field. Now, one more piece of advice to help you conceal what pitch you're gonna throw. As your hands come together, spin the ball in your glove three times. And that becomes important because some grips are easier to get than others. A drop ball or a fastball grip is usually right across the seams and it's a very simple grip and a pitcher can get it and go really fast. But when it comes to doing a rise ball, they have to search and dig and try to find the seams to get the grip the right way. But practicing, and they can practice this watching television, sitting on the couch, just blindly feeling the ball with their glove, spinning it in their glove, getting different grips, getting my rise ball grip, changing, getting my drop ball grip changing, getting my change up grip. They can practice that spin motion almost anywhere at any time. And so as I'm preparing to pitch, I'm hiding the ball from both coaches by keeping it tight to my body, keeping the face of my glove pointed to center field, and then I spin the ball an equal number of times for every single pitch so that the batter and the other team and the coaches can't detect what pitch I'm gonna throw by how fast I'm moving to throw the ball or doing something different for every single pitch. The goal is to do the same thing every single pitch so that you are as deceptive as possible. I hope this helped answer the question as to why you see pitchers making this movement and please check out my website, houseofpitching.com for other information. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-stale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.